During my series where I learned to paint gouache in 30 days, I got by far the most questions about this gouache, the Hemi Jelly Gouache Palette. Most of the questions were about would these dry out, and it's been about a month and a half of me filming this series, so let's check and see how they fared. I still have a ton of paint left, even though I painted about three-fourths of the paintings in this series with this set. As far as it drying out, I do have a little bit of cracking in a couple of those wells, but that's mainly my fault. I left these open several times and wasn't super careful when I closed them up. And in order to combat the cracks, I've been able to stop it by spraying distilled water on these and then they go back to normal once I seal it back up. I have been warned that this could result in mold, but I live in a really dry climate and mold isn't a huge consideration here, so I'm not too worried about it. I explored a couple different types of gouache and as far as my opinions on the Hemi palette, I still like it. It is more of a student grade paint and the texture and saturation isn't as good as other gouaches, but I think it's great value for money. I do have two complaints though. One is it's really easy to get each one of these little jelly cubes really messy with other colors. And the other is that you really need to make sure that all the edges are nice and snapped down, even though you've snapped the main 